할렐루야 요한복음 3장 영암송을 인증해서 영상을 올리겠습니다 잠깐 암송신앙에 대해서 성경이 어떻게 말하는지 하나님이 어떻게 지시하셨는지 살펴보겠습니다 아, 유대인 바울에게 있어서 베드로 요한에게 있어서 어, 그들이 성령 침례 충만 내주하심을 경험하고 나서 성령을 쫓아 길을 걸었습니다 그것은 쉐마 신앙을 의미합니다 갈라데서 5장 16절에 그 구절에 길이라는 단어가 번역이 안돼 있고 행하라는 덧다입니다 성령을 쫓아 길을 걸어라 아멘 유대인들에게 있어서 길을 걷는 것은 아, 쉐마 신앙을 연상케 합니다 안고 길을 걷고 눕고 설 때마다 말씀을 새기라 쉐마 신앙 신명기 6장 6절이죠 그것이 바로 하나님을 마음과 뜻과 힘을 다해 사랑하는 방법으로 하나님이 제정하신 것입니다 그래서 다살로니카 전서 5장도 그 쉬지 말고 기도하라도 이런 맥락에서 쉽게 이해가 되어집니다 아멘 아, 사실은 예수님께서 마귀의 시험을 첫 번째로 물리쳐 이기시는 장면에서 그 비밀이 들어 있습니다 기록되었을 때 하시면서 기록된 성경을 입으로 직접 선포하시면서 마귀를 물리쳐 이기셨습니다 사람이 빵으로만 살 것이 아니오 하나님의 입으로부터 나오는 모든 말씀으로 살 것이니라 하셨습니다 요한봉 5장 19절에 진실로 진실로 내가 너에게 이르노니 아들이 아버지 행하시는 것을 보지 않고서는 아무것도 스스로 할수 없노라 하셨기 때문에 마귀를 물리쳐 이기시는 그 성경을 인용하는 그 상황 속에서도 바로 그 순간 지금 하나님의 입으로부터 나오는 말씀에 순종했던 것입니다. 할렐루야 성경은 성경의 저자들이 성령의 감동하심을 받아서 하나님의 입으로부터 나오는 모든 말씀을 당시 그들에게 있어서 그 지금이란 상황 속에서 받아 적은 것입니다. 그러므로 우리가 하나님의 입으로부터 나오는 모든 말씀으로 매 순간 살기 위해서는 이 성경이 바로 하나님의 입으로부터 나온 말씀이었다는 것을 믿고 쉐마에 순종하는 것입니다. 안고 길을 걷고 늦고 살 때마다 말씀을 새김으로 하나님을 사랑하는 것이죠. 하나님을 예배하는 것이죠. 그럴 때 성령님께서는 그 선포되어진 말씀을 따라 살수 있도록 친히 우리를 인도하는 것입니다. 아멘 아멘 한번 3장 영암송을 인정하겠습니다. 할렐루야 There was a man of the Pharisees named Nicodemus a ruler of the Jews This man came to Jesus by night and said to him Rabbi, we know that you are a teacher come from God For no one can do these signs that you do unless God is with him. Jesus answered and said to him, Amen, Amen, I say to you. 한글 성경의 진실로 진실로의 히브리어는 Amen, Amen입니다. 참으로 놀랍죠? Amen, Amen, I say to you. Unless one is born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Nicodemus said to him, How can a man be born when he is old? Can he enter a second time into his mother's womb and be born? Jesus answered, Amen, Amen, I say to you, Unless one is born of water and the Spirit, he cannot enter the kingdom of God. That which is born of the flesh is flesh. And that which is born of the Spirit is a Spirit. Do not marvel that I said to you, you must be born again. The wind blows where it wishes, and you hear the sound of it, but cannot tell where it comes from and where it goes. So is everyone who is born of the Spirit. Nicodemus answered and said to him, How can these things be? Jesus answered and said to him, Are you the teacher of Israel, but don't know about these things? Amen, amen, I say to you, We speak what we know and testify what we have seen. You do not receive our witness. If I have told you earthly things, you do not believe. How will you believe if I tell heavenly things? No one has ascended to heaven, 
but he who came down from heaven, uh, that is the Son of Man who is in heaven. And as Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, even so the Son of Man must be lifted up, that whoever believes in him should, should not perish, but have eternal life. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have eternal life, but have everlasting life. For God didn't send his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. He who believes in him is not condemned, but he who does not believe is condemned already because he has not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. For this is the condemnation that the light has come into the world and the men love darkness rather than the light because their deeds were evil. For everyone practicing evil hates the light and does not come to the light lest his deeds should be exposed. But he who does the truth comes to the light that his deeds may be clearly seen that they have been done in God. After these things, hallelujah, after these things, Jesus and his disciples came into the land of Judea, and there he remained with them and baptized. Now John was also baptizing in Anon near Salim, because there was much water there. They came and were baptized, for John had not yet been thrown into prison. Then there arose a dispute between some of John's disciples and the Jews about purification. They came and said to him, Rabbi, he who was with you beyond the Jordan, and he whom you have testified, behold, he is baptizing, and all are coming to him. John answered and said, a man can receive nothing unless it has been given to him from heaven. You yourselves bear me witness that I said I am not the Christ, but I have been sent before him. I have been sent before him. He who has the bride is the bridegroom, but the friend of the bridegroom who stands and hears him rejoices greatly because of the bridegroom's voice. Therefore, this joy of mine is fulfilled. She must increase, but I must decrease. He who comes from above is above all. He who is of the earth is earthly and speaks of the earth. He who comes from heaven is above all. And he testifies what he has seen and heard no one receives his testimony. He who has received his testimony has certified that God is true. And for he whom God has sent speaks the words of God, for God does not give the Spirit by measure. For the Father loves the Son and has given all things in his hand. He who believes in the Son has everlasting life, but he who does not believe the Son shall not see life, but the wrath of God abides on him. Hallelujah.